Welcome back to Fujits Blitz, and today we're going to be looking at update 6.2, all those nerfs and all those buffs, and boy what an update. I mean, first off we've got a new map, New Bay, which is based on New York, but it's not New York for various reasons. I've done a video on it, and that should be out soon. And we've also got the big talking points, the nerfs and the buffs, so let's get straight into it with those. About we've got the American line, Tier 1, the M2 Lite. Why, oh why, but this has got a nerf. I mean, can you believe it? They've nerfed it. They've nerfed the rate of fire, they've nerfed the reload time, and they've nerfed the DPM. Why? And then we move on to the tier two, the M3 Stuart. This is a buff. Wow, bit of both. DPM has gone up, penetration has been nerfed, damage has also been buffed. Why? Then the big first talking point, the M5 Stuart, the tier three American tank. Firstly, the autoloader is no longer the default. The DPM has been nerfed. The penetration has been nerfed. Okay, the damage has been buffed on your standard AP. On your APCR, DPM has also been nerfed, but the damage has also been buffed. The rate of fire has been nerfed as well, and the reload time looks like it's, uh, well, stayed the same, really. That's a big one. Next, we move on to the, the uh, T71. HP has been increased, so it's had a fair few nerfs and a fair few buffs and one nerf. Magazine reload time, and that has gone down. Then we move on to the Locust, it's a collectible, it's been buffed. DPM and damage on its APCR. Moving on to the M7, that's had a massive buff. Rate of fire, reload time, and DPM across all shells. Then we go on to the M46 pattern, okay, it's been nerfed on its weight, but the power to weight ratio and the traverse speed all has been buffed. Next, the Fury. This is a premium tank. Massive buff across the board. Rate of fire, reload time, aim time, and all DPM across all shells and speed. Then we've got the T23 E3. It's had a buff. Then we've got the M2 Medium. It's also had a buff. Then the T26 E5. Be nerfed. Firstly, it's going to cost you more. Secondly, the DPM on its heat has gone down. Penetration has gone up, though. Damage has gone down, and the pen on the APCR has also gone down. Moving over to the Russian line, Ooh, T26, that tier one, be buffed, apart from the damage, which has gone down. TT2, be buffed <laughs> across the board, rate of fire, relay time, and DPM. BT7, it's been buffed <laughs> on both the DPM for AP and APCR. A20, no surprises, the DPM on the heat has been buffed, but the damage has gone down, and the reload time um, has gone up. It's, it's just been buffed on two shells as well. Unbelievable. BTSV. This one confused me. It's been nerfed on the DPM. Both, um, <laughs> both damage and penetration, but increased on its APCR. Then we've got the T127. Been nerfed on its AP, buffed on its APCR. Same with the LTP. Nerfed on the AP, buffed on the APCR. Same as the Valentine. Nerfed on the AP. Buffed on the APCR. Can you see where Wargaming are going here? They want you to buy that promo. You've got to buy that promo. T34. Been nerfed on its uh, on its heat, DPM and damage. T28 mod 1940. Been nerfed again on its heat, damage and pen. Same as the A32. Tank I hate. Nerfed. Not surprised. Then the big talking point. KV1. Rate of fire. Down. Reload time. Down. Dispersion. Down. DPM. Down. Across all shells. Then it's had an armor buff, as well, an armor nerf as well. Next with the KV2, another big talking point. Penetration, nerfed. Then the KV222, buffed, unbelievable. So now let's have a look at these German tanks. So the Panzer II, DPM and burst damage has been nerfed, but penetration has been increased. Rate of fire has also been nerfed. Magazine re reload time, however, has been buffed. Magazine size, however, has been nerfed from six to three. That is a big, big talking point. What about the Panzer 35T? Well, generally DPM and damage has been buffed, but the rate of fire and reload time has been nerfed. Moving over to the Panzer 3A, it's collectible. DPM and damage on both its AP and APCR has been buffed. Same goes for the Panzer 38. Both styles buffed. Panzer 3, DPM and damage on the standard AP has been buffed, but the pen has been nerfed. APCR, DPM damage, has been buffed. Rate of fire, nerfed. Reload time, also nerfed. Panzer 4D, damage on its APCR has been nerfed. DPM has gone up, though. Rate of fire has increased. 
re reload time has increased and its DPM on its HE and its AP have also been buffed. Panzer 4G, DPM and damage on its APCR nerfed. Panther M10, buffed penetration, both shells, AP and APCR. Tiger 2, buffed penetration on AP and APCR. VK4502, buffed on AP and APCR. Same with the VK100, same with the VK4502B, same with the E75, and the same with the J Panther. All shells, AP and APCR, have been buffed. Ferdinand HP, buffed from 1200 to 1400. That is significant. J Panther 2, penetration on the AP and APCR, again, buffed. Panzer Jaeger 1, DPM and damage on its standard AP, buffed. Moving over to the British, Cruiser 3, rate of fire, magazine reload time, DPM, all buffed. Cruiser 4, rate of fire, magazine reload time, DPM on both AP and APCR, buffed. AC1 Sentinel, DPM and damage, nerfed on its APCR. Matilda, DPM and damage on its standard AP, buffed. On the APCR, nerfed. Churchill 1, APCR, nerfed. DPM and damage. Conway, big nerf. HP, rate of fire, reload time, and DPM across all shells, nerfed. Okay, looking at the Japanese line now, we've got the R Otsu. It's been buffed. DPM damage and devices in crew damage, although that's a slight buff. Um, we've got the Hei Yao, rate of fire, reload time, DPM, all nerfed. The Kini, the DPM, the damage, and the burst damage, all buffed. I mean, that's significant. Okay, they're collectors, but it's still significant. The Kiho on all shells, DPM in damage has been buffed. Same with the Chi Ni. Um, the AP and the premium AP have all been buffed. However, rate of fire is down and the reload time is also being nerfed. The Chi Ha, DPM and damage on its standard AP, buffed. Penetration, nerfed. Hmm. DPM and damage on its premium AP has gone up. Good buff there. But the rate of fire and the reload time also nerfed. The Chi He, DPM and damage on all its shells has been buffed, which is nice. Rate of fire over, reload time, nerfed. Chinu, again, DPM in damage on its AP and APCR, all buffed. That's nice, and everything stays basically the same, realistically. Type 61, main ammo. It's been increased from 32 to 50. Wow. Now moving on to the Chinese, the, VA, the VAE Type B. DPM, rate of fire, and reload time, all buffed, damaged, nerfed. Audi Viz 38, rate of fire, reload time, and DPM, all of which have been buffed. Why? M5A1 Stewart, nerf on the AP DPM, buff across damage on that and the APCR DPM and damage, a nerf on its HE damage, um, DPM, but a buff on its damage, reload time and rate of fire nerfed. The Chi Ha, DPM and damage on AP, buffed, penetration nerfed. On the APCR, it's at a buff, reload time, and rate of fire nerfed. Moving on to the French, the AMX 12T, rate of fire, time before the shell reload, and the DPM across all shells nerfed. R35, DPM damage on AP nerfed. AMX 38, DPM on its AP buff, penetration damage nerfed. Rate of fire and reload time buff. D2, DPM on the AP and damage on the AP buff, penetration nerfed. APCR, damage in DPM, buff. Rate of fire, buff. Reload time, buff. B1, damage in DPM across AP and APCR, buff. DPM and damage on HE, buff. Rate of fire, nerf. Reload time, nerf. And the Fosh, equipment set, autoloader, yay. I mean, that is a significant thing. Massive autoloader, DPM massively up. Huge burst damage across all shells. It's also got great reload time and everything else. FTAC, it's been nerfed on its standard AP, and the Strav is had a massive, massive, massive buff. Now, moving on to armor. Now, I'm not going to go through all of these. You need to get on there and have a look at them. They are significant, especially with the KV-1, um, the T-150. You need to get onto Armor Inspector or to go onto this and have a look at these changes, guys, because they do change the parameters of the tank. Simple as that. And as you can see, 
there's been a lot of armor adjustments, both for the better and for the worst. So guys, really, get over there, get onto Armor Inspector, look at Blitzhanger, see what has happened. But the big talking points are, the KV-1, it's a shadow of its former self, it's had massive nerfs. The KV-220T, okay, it's a collectible, which means you have to buy it, it's had massive buffs. The Fury, it's a massive buff. The KV-2, why would on earth would you nerf its HE? It's no longer the tank it was. It's, it's a shame. So, and then you've got the Fosh, the tier 10. This autoloader is just mad. It's absolutely crazy. I tell you, what a wargaming thinking. So get out there, guys. Get onto Blitzhanger. Have a look at these changes and see how they will, and they certainly will, affect you. So, I've been Fujit. Um, I hope that's been enlightening. Okay, I'll rush through it a bit. There's a lot to get through, and I really didn't want to do the videos of each and every tank. I mean, that would have been a 50 bloody minute video because there's a lot of buffs and a lot of nerfs. In fact, there's a significant amount. Anyway, that has been a quick run through of update 6.2. Don't forget, some of the British Evers now have got those additional sandbags and welding kits and all that sort of jazz. So, you need to gain. Have a look at that and see what it's all about. The new map looks fantastic. Not convinced about the tinkering with the KV-1, the Conway and the KV-2 and the Fosh, to be perfectly honest with you. But time will tell. So, until the next time, guys, by all means, comment, like and everything below. If you haven't yet subscribed, press that subscribe button. It's a nice thing to do. And by all means, if you've got any decent replacing them to me here at fujitsblitz at gmail.com. I'm always looking for new replays. Or join my Discord server. You can even follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And if you need to know where my Discord server link is, it's below in this write-up thingy down here. Um, and until the next time, I'll say my usual stuff. Stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. Because that's what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.